Dear Carrie, hello. Uh, hi, I wasn't expecting to make this video now. I am uh, in the middle of writing. Uh, uncle Mario and Chickpea Lee, both uncles, were in charge Ooh. of this little one. So he decided to have a little meltdown. So he's staying at home with me, so I'm no longer writing. Uh, we are instead having a little bit of lunch. Uh, so I thought, hey, I finished. Let's chat to Carrie. Because then that way, I can uh, write when they get back. It's all good, it's all good. It's all about adjusting and juggling those plates and not minding when they spin off into another spinner. I don't know. I'm loving the spinning plates analogy at the moment and uh, I think I just turned it into something that makes completely no sense whatsoever. Like that sentence. I don't think this is straight. Is that straighter? There you go. You just got an extreme close with my face today. Sorry, and it's not nicely done up. Mac basically put my makeup on at seven o'clock. And then it's so hot at the moment, it's sweaty that it's basically all sweated off. I'm trying to think about what I've been up to this week and it's really, really difficult uh, to actually remember what I've done. Um, exactly. He's talking to a piece of baby sweet corn. me how, how like different Buddy and Buzz are, like what are the similarities, what are their differences and I would say that with Buddy he, and it might be because he's the second child and because he sees Buzz doing everything but he just wants to do everything, like he gets so frustrated, he wants to be, he wants to be reaching things and grabbing things, he wants to put everything in his mouth, um, yeah so I would say that he, not that he's more frustrated but that he has more um, more of a passion to do things. We might probably a, a better way of wording it than ma and making it sound like he's frustrated. Um, but he knows what he wants. There we go. He knows what he wants, uh, which is really, really sweet. They're just changing the time. It's amazing. I do not know what that sweet boy is saying, but can I just say, as a mum, like this is what every conversation is like now. Like you try and just raise your voice over the sound of them talking to their food or talking to their toys or or playing the drums as Buzz is now because he has upgraded his drum set and he basically, the other set, he kind of bashed to death and uh, and they are no more. R.I.P. the plastic ones uh, but now they're kind of more of a proper drum kit which is fine because he actually really loves the drums, he plays them every day without fail. Um, so I feel like we are giving him, um, seriously, hi, you okay? Uh, Tom is in rehearsals now, uh, every time I speak he's like joining in. If you're not got the sound of him talking, you've got the sound of him going, I'm so sorry to anyone who's offended by this right now. My six month old baby has no table manners right now. I'll get on it. Uh, yeah, so uh, Tom has started tour rehearsals now. So uh, yeah, he's out from like, well actually it's not that bad. I think he's gonna be leaving us at like eight o'clock every morning. But he leaves at nine and then he gets back at around five-ish, sometimes half five. But what's interesting about Tom starting rehearsals is that we've both got exactly the same amount of stuff going on as we did before, but now we're just kind of fitting in this rehearsal time. Um, so it just makes everything a lot, a lot, a lot busier. But we can't complain because we're both doing things that we love and, and, and that is amazing and wonderful and just brilliant. Also, can I say, last week I did a juicing detox. I did a seven day juice detox, um, which I didn't really shout about because it's my life and that's what I wanted to do. And it's fine for breast milk, anyone who's wondering. Um, I got more nutrients in that one week than I would have if I was eating properly, um, like eating normal food. And I felt amazing at the end of the seven days, felt absolutely wonderful. Um, it just goes to show me how having goodness in my diet is a really good thing. Because the boys are obviously up a lot at night time, they are young and um and buddy needs feeding and stuff so uh yeah even though there were nights where i didn't get the best sleep i woke up in the morning feeling really alive i would say at the end of the seven days i felt more alive than i have the whole way through 
um, well, since having Buddy really, and and yeah, I felt I felt amazing, even though I'm not like, getting much sleep and I've got so much to do. So that was brilliant. Just really interesting to see the effect that it had on my skin, my eyes, my general like being. Obviously, like weight wise, uh, slimmed down a bit, um, but just just realizing that knocking caffeine out of my system. Your brother, Carrie, is the worst when it comes to caffeine. Um, he drinks a lot, and uh, so whenever we're both at home working, whenever he uh, has a coffee, he'll ask me if I want one. And I started off just saying, what, and like, yes, once a day. And then before I knew it, I'm up to like three, four cups a day, uh, which isn't the best anyway. And uh, so cutting that out was probably the hardest thing of the whole juicing thing. And also I was just having far too much sugar, far too much. Saying that, haven't had sugar ag again since uh, I finished juicing, but tomorrow, which is the day this goes up, I'm off for afternoon tea with the winner of the Waterstones competition. You know how I said to everyone, if you pre-ordered or if you loved for Waterstones, that you'd be in with a chance of winning afternoon tea with me. Uh, well, that is happening, and I cannot wait. I can't wait, I can't wait. I can't get mad though, because Sister Georgie, she is starting maternity leave! Ah! And uh, so we're going out for a little celebratory dinner with her. It's going to be crazy. From next week, she's going to be here with a big bump. And, uh, and then in a few weeks, I'm going to have my first ever niece and nephew. It's so magical. I can't think of anything else I've done this week. Oh, I had a photo shoot. I had a photo shoot yesterday, which was brilliant, which is part of the reason why I juiced. Um, and that went really, really, really well. He is loving baby sweet corn. I can't tell you anything about that yet, other than that there was a shoot, and it was amazing, and I felt great. Um, but I shall tell you more about that in a few weeks. Oh, the other thing that I got told last night, I have been nominated for InStyle's Project 13's Most Aspirational Mum Blog. And you can vote for me. So if you like what I do across all my socials and my Facebook and YouTube and Instagram and everything, because I do, I do share a lot, um, then, uh, then you can vote. You can vote for me if you like. Uh, I shall put a link in the description box if you want to. I mean, it would be lovely, but, you know, it's fine. I appreciate these things take time, and, um, anyway. Anyway, I I'm just, I'm just babbling on, but, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry this has been a quick one, uh, but I will be far more organised in the future. It's just really hard getting uh, a balance of what everything, it, what, what's going on, really, in my life. And some weeks, I should just be sat down writing. And when I'm not just sat down writing, uh, obviously it means that other things are going on, so it's great because sometimes it gives me more content for like future vlogs, but in other terms, it means that I'm not at my desk writing and I need to be writing. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a never ending cycle. Right, I'm off, but I shall speak to you very, very soon. Carrie, I love you, I miss you, not long until tour is over, so hopefully I'll see you very, very soon. Big love to you, bye!